87. Yeah, that was against Mickey Mansell in what I believe was the first game of the tournament. Some way to start, as is this, for another 12 data. 69. Peter Rigon, 115. This would hurt Woodhouse if it's found. It's not going to be. So where does he go? 99. Luke Got to have a plan 18. on 18. Split. Real confidence and conviction with that. Yeah, he's on a third and a 3-0 lead Luke is Woodhouse. his. He's allowed Peter Wright Luke one Luke daughter double in this Jail. game. What he's got to do to find a route to victory here. But he just won't be left alone. Every time he gets a good score, Woodhouse is right behind him. Peter Rigo, 116. He might have to take this. Somehow needs to negotiate to the treble. First dart. Oh, it's a magnificent second dart. It looked like it was blocked. Double 18 now. Easy. Well, Woodhouse threw Luke his Rigo third dart on the previous 75. visit very quickly. It's one of his bad habits that he's trying to erase. But he's still getting two darts at double. 24, yeah. You're not sure? Ask Kirk. Good. That is so, so good. good. He was very good against Rob Cross. And he's been even better against Peter Wright. He's not going to take out the 164. But if he can chip away at it, take a big chunk, then he's in a great position. Peter Wright, 164. Well, leaving 37 is a bit of a rare bird. He can almost pick whatever double he wants. 56. Luke Rigo, 37. There's only three doubles he can't leave. The ball tops and double 19. But it will be double 16. And now the next door neighbour. 21. We'll never know where that was going had it not been for the previous dart. I don't think it was in my first. No, I don't think it would have been. Double 16. Good. Peter Wright Shot prolongs seven. the contest. That's annoying for Luke. Just a little bit. But that's typical Game. snake bite. I don't know. Was it going in? And he's been seeded in every single tournament he's ever played. Astonishing. It really is. Excellent darts. Oh, he needs a mistake 42. from Snakebite to get more match darts. Is that a little bit awkward? He doesn't move. 26. The mistake is made, and Woodhouse will Luke now look at a different 56. double to make his way to his very first quarterfinal on the European Tour. He gets two cracks at tops. And Luke Woodhouse is not giving up his Grand Prix dream. It is another victory. Ow. You don't need to be a lip reader. That's what he said. Oh, 150. It might not be that painful. It might just be really uncomfortable. I, I think if it was if he was generally worried and it was really painful, he, I mean, he doesn't oh, need to play in this. He might have withdrawn, but... Let's let's just see. He's doing a great job at the minute, Luke Humphrey. A fabulous job. Yeah, it's, on <laughs> it's just hit a 14 data. It's 3-0 up, he's averaging 105. Could have even did a nine data there. He might be learning something oh, about himself oh, right now. 45. He might play better when he's injured. <laughs> this, this is just ludicrous. I think his motivation, Dan, might be. Beat him 6 0, because that way I'm up on the stage for as little time as possible. That is a 10 dart leg from a man whose back and neck doesn't work. This is stupid. These days, in a place like this, there will be people on hand to give him the assistance he needs should he need it over the next few hours, providing he does get another leg. 
130. Well, that I leaves him on a single to double combination for the match, unless Schindler can take out the 137. And that isn't going to happen. And Martin Schindler, he wasn't as good as yesterday, oh, but there's been little he can do yeah, against this from Luke Humphreys because it is another stunning display. How has he done this? I do not know, but he has done it absolutely sensationally. Luke Humphreys has averaged 106. He's got a tournament average of more than 107. And the man who seemingly cannot lose on the European Tour can't even lose when he can barely walk. Getting a little bit better. Nearly 4,000 people in this afternoon. See some of the biggest names in the sport. Another there. Just not following wow, darts as he would slow. like in this game so far, but he Don't is applying quiet, some pressure. Two at tops. Game Only seven, needs the one. Leg. Best Stop leg of the match. Down. We're getting increasingly better over the next three months or so as we build up towards it. Joey require 157. So to hold his throw. Double 19. 133. Well, he set Joey it up well. 78. Leave double 12. Price won't leave the same target. Oh, accidental tops. Game show on the fifth Clear leg. guide at double Play 10, and he takes it. But he wasn't far away. Saw Luke Humphreys hit a 10 darter in the previous match, him dispatching Martin Schindler despite back problems. 64. Not going to see the same from Cullen, but left a slightly easier finish. Treble 17 will leave the bullseye. Go with Price, he's one leg away. And that is the clinicality we saw against Nathan Rafferty last night. Looks like he might be heading out of the tournament here in Budapest in the last 16. His price is on a potential 11 darter, would be the best leg of the match if he does complete this in two darts. Can Cullen get to a finish? No, he can't. So Price doesn't even need to bring the bullseye into play here. Oh, two doubles! Oh my word! Gerwin Price, six out of six, and a double-double finish to win it. It is unbelievable finishing from the Iceman. A bit. Yeah, both players are. This would be nice, though. One and seventy-one. He may just spark himself into life with that. He had similar problems on Friday. When he was playing Dorland, his first and second darts 96. were predominantly too low on that 60 shot. That is perfect. <laughs> Hello. Game Goodbye, shot. leg four. That's a little bit of showmanship. What is 141. From an experimental point of view, it has to be. Doesn't have to stay on the 60 here. I think this is a wise switch. Double 13. 76. Would have left double 16. Is old faithful. He'll settle for that with Van Veen a long way back. I'm not sure he's going to be happy with leaving 65. One, but he will be very 25. happy that Van Veen only got 125. It could have been a lot worse. Double ten. Forty-five. And if Van Veen Can gets out of leg six with a win, twenty-one. It'll be because Damon couldn't take his chances on tops and tens. It's the bullseye for three-three. Eighty-six. Kind of summed up his game, really. I mean, you require twenty. I've been more than one or two loose darts that have drifted. Has to scooch across. Game Gets it seven right seven. in the bottom corner. That was half celebration, half Leighton Hewitt. But I think it was more relief than anything else. That was a really good dart from the left-hand side of the hockey. 100.
Having to really scrap for this. Wow. This is a hugely Faulty. pivotal moment. You require Faulty. Another shuffle across. Doesn't get the same result. And Van Veen to break the throw and make it for all. And to get the throw back. Petter's had some troubles on double ten, hasn't he? Got away with it last time, having a third dart in hand. Didn't have that cushion this time. Game and things are level. Can Luke Woodhouse watch? Because, like I said earlier, Van Veen was in. Then he was out of the World Grand Prix. Two more legs in this contest. He's back in and definitely in the tournament. He's had a shot to win one of these. This is just part wow. of the story. But Damon has only 102 points from putting Van Veen on the World Grand Prix shelf and to take him out of the Hungarian Darts Trophy. 60. Damon, you require 102. He's exasperated, is Jan van Veen. Well, this can still go. Treble 17. 78. Muted celebrations there from the Heat. And he now comes back for double 12. 96. To make Jan van Veen very, very miserable. Damon Hetter. Wants double 12, and Kian Van Veen's hopes of reaching the World Grand Prix in Leicester have been extinguished. Kind of expected one there from the bully boy. One six one left. That is a finish that Mike has not hit this week. Michael, you've got 161. We get one of those signs every time we come to every event. I sincerely hope we do get a nine daughter. But how about a 161? Will that do you? That deserves every single bit of applause it got. Wonderful from the world number one. Such a long barrel. Yeah, it's it is a strange composition, but it does work for him. It allows him to do this, grouping those darts so well. Now he's finding his range on the treble 20. 2-1-8 is in the leg, and Dedeka with a chance of going back into the lead here. His treble 20 shooting has been much improved in the last couple of legs. How's his double 11? There's your answer. Wonderfully done. Numbers 6 and 4 are through. The world number one is in trouble here. Oh, 86. Michael, you've got 156. Over the next couple of months, that ranking might be a risk as well. I think he desperately wants to go into Ali Pali with that number one ranking intact. Michael, you've got 138. 19s. Oh, okay, 17s. Because two there leaves. Double 18. Yeah. And that is superb. That is superb from Mike Dedeka. The hey, world champion acknowledges what a Game. shot that is. Yeah, is he going to follow in the footsteps of Luke Woodhouse and get to the quarterfinals on the European Tour for the first time in his career? Oh. He is on 80 for the match, having beaten Michael Smith 6-1 in Risa at the start of the year on the Euro 50. Tour. This is to follow Michael it up with a 6-2 victory and a deserved one. Double ten. Game he outscored him. He outfinished him. He outplayed him. The world number one and back-to-back -back 12 starters looked brilliant for about five minutes, and everything else went Mike to Decker's way. The Belgian is through to his first ever quarter-final on the European Tour. And he broke those darts because he's got two yellow stems and a black one. I wonder if one of them broke and he didn't have any spare yellow ones. Hmm. I mean, it might be a conscious decision. I wouldn't like to make a well, guess as to what to. Scott Williams Scott is thinking about seven. when he's making aesthetic choices. Thirty-eight. Danny Rigon, 148. Big ass for Danny. 
However, yes, double 14. Brilliant break of throw. And even Danny Noppert reacts to that one. It is a monster check out to take the lead. It's a leg that Scott Williams should have won because he was miles in front, but never ever rule out Danny Noppert. Bit of a spring in his step there as he retrieved his darts on the 140. Danny Noppert just trying to well, just get a bit of urgency and energy, but Scott Williams is the man who is starting to turn this game. Ninety-nine. Scott, you require sixty-six. Options here. Oh, of course he goes the bull route, Can and of course he hits double play. eight. First time Scott of asking. And it's okay. He's left himself double nineteen, which is no one's favourite. Oh, one six two would have been great there Can to leave double eight. 38. It's not bad anyway. It certainly applies the pressure. Is Noppy up to it? Not on this occasion. 22. Sky requires 67. Double 16. Yeah, Scott Scott Williams, Williams is one away. Scott and he really Tonight does yell. Get in there, Shaggy yeah. shouts. Who would have thought the Euro Tour would bring so much agony? Oh, that is ecstasy, though. Scott Williams with only his second maximum of the match. Danny Noppet needs two trebles to get to a finish. He probably needs all three to worry Williams. And he only gets one, Scott Williams. He started this match, the very first leg of this, he had all the time in the world to get the job done. He ended up losing it. Now, he's made a bit of a mess of this. But no, that tidies it up. He will get match darts. The question is, how many does he need? 96. For Scott first ever Euro eight. Tour quarter final. Just like Luke Woodhouse and Mike Dedecker, who've both done the same thing here in Budapest today. Scott Williams. Has Four. blown his chance. For now, at least. Danny require 110. And Danny Nopper, only one treble required. He could stay there. Oh, my word, I think it was the right play. He just couldn't execute. Forty-three. And he makes a mess of tidying it up now. Four. More match darts for Scott Williams. And he pins it first time of asking. And he growls in absolute delight. The treble. Johnny Clayton suffering an unfortunate bounce out in the last visit. Kind of makes up for it, but it should be too late. Double nine. 23. Just a little bit messy at the start here from MVG. You will not like that. Seen that a few times today, going for the double 16 and hitting the double seven. Double 16 Game for Clayton now. He hits it right in the Jimmy middle. Clayton, Gives the Jimmy old the finger front point, front. the finger point ferret Game celebration. On. Not the dominant force that he was, but still a huge, huge force to be reckoned with. I think we saw a little bit of that force yesterday, though. I think he was 96. remarkable against Ross Smith, who came back at him in that game and caused him all sorts of issues. But wasn't it great to see Michael really fired up yesterday wow. here on a Saturday night? And he was the Mark one who said to the crowd, Come on, I want to hear the noise. Create his own noise if he gets bullseye. This is his favourite finish. He hit it to win a Premier League. And he's got the leg as well. That is a superb shot. Classic Johnny Clayton, number of 165. Bull 25, bull. Nope. Treble 20 for tops. One run on five. Johnny, you require 101. I'll be interested to see where he goes here. He wants to leave double 16 on the end of it, and he does. 16. Wow, that was close, and that might Mark, have been necessary. You 20. Break of throw time. 
Relentless MVG here in Hungary this weekend. Were those treble 19s? Maybe the best treble 19 switcher in the history of the game. Johnny Clayton is now officially in trouble. Van Gerwen's only 33% in his doubles, but he's getting lots of opportunities. In fact, three times as many. Well, an extra life for the man who you said last night was using up lives like cats. Still sticking in there. Michael Van Gerwen. And they bought their ticket for a real heavyweight clash. There we go. Very finger pointing at its best. And everybody knows he loves a 1-2-1. One, one. This would hurt. This is his trademark. Treble 17 for the ball. It was inevitable. It was absolutely inevitable. Johnny Clayton of 1-2-1. One, one. Just go together like jelly and ice cream. Absolutely wonderful. I'll get down to a finish. And MVG now has this game in the palm of his hands. 12 months ago, I firmly believe that Van Gerwen loses games like this. Right now, he's giving himself better chances, but he has to get this. Otherwise, Clayton might steal it right at the end. But he doesn't. Michael Van Gerwen comes through an absolute blockbuster clash. And Johnny Clayton, after that sensational 1-2-1, one, one, where he thought he was going to have the game. Speak to somebody about how difficult it is to beat Van Gerwen in the Netherlands with that crowd. Ask Ian White. Yep. Did it in a Euro Tour final. Beat three Dutchmen in succession to take the title. And that is a perfect 180 from Chiss. He was struggling. He had been struggling for quite some time with bounce outs. And he thought it might have been the flights and the stems. He believes it's actually what he's doing with his points that has sorted this out. Because he's not really getting them nowadays. I can't see, mate. Right, Chizzy can't see, Russ can't see. Between the pair of them, they can just about figure out that's in the seven, apparently. And that leaves tops. Game show on the third leg. Well, one thing we do know is it's 3-0 to Chizzy. Doesn't look like this game's going that way, though. Roby just hasn't been able to muster anything. By and large, because Dave Chisholm has not let it. I haven't seen a massive comeback from anybody from this position in this tournament. I've seen a few scares. 56. Ross Smith threatened to, didn't he, against Michael Van Gerwen? Came from 4 2 down. Mr. Dart to force a last leg decider. Wow, That's a great two treble visit. 57 comes up trumps to give him a match winning 94 checkout. Usually these days people go for the treble 18 because 94. they want to go for the aggressive shot. And that's exactly what he's going to do. And he gets it and he's rewarded two match darts. Game and double tennis shot. pin, Dave Chisnell, the top Dave seed, completes Chisnell. our quarter-final lineup, sweeping Roby John Rodriguez aside.